In this video, I will be demonstrating about the intermediate tip of VBA, which is connect to Internet Explorer via VBA. You can use this method to connect to any of the Windows program. It might be any of the Office program like Word, Access, or Outlook, or might be IE, or Mozilla Firefox, or any of the browser. So before we see the benefits, we can go directly um, to the Excel and see like how you can start your uh, uh, programming to connect to IE. So let me start uh, from here. So actually guys, uh, hopefully, I mean this is an intermediate tip, so you can aware of these things like this is sheet and uh, um, this is model. If you doesn't, doesn't see model, like uh, you can right click here and then insert model. And then now all you need to do is just start typing sub and followed by your uh, routine name. So here you can uh, give open Microsoft or any of the thing. Just like this and then as soon as you press enter you can see the end sub at the bottom of the part okay so now uh, uh, I can explain about uh, how we can connect to IE object so which is very simple guys all you need to do is just a four step of code actually so um, I mean uh, the method which I am going to use is called a late binding um, there is a two method which is yearly binding as well as late binding in VBA but actually guys I mean you won't see any differences you can use a, any of the methods I normally prefer the late binding so I will explain the early binding on my next video so now I can show you which one is late binding and how you can connect to IE instantly right so the first thing is like you need to declare the object right so I have used a very simple term here so IE is a known word like IE stands for Internet Explorer and then um, just ignore these two lines guys and then um, all you need to write is set IE which is this, this line exactly I mean I'm setting the object for the IE equal to create object and then uh, within bracket you need to type internet explorer dot application that's it so now we have created an object on the very next line we can use just um, IE dot navigate and then uh, double space like HTTP which website like um, ping.com yes ping.com and followed by the rack I mean double quotation so that's all so I mean we have done with this this is a very simple code but you can actually notice I have used some of the other things here we did this yes I have used a method called with you can uh, always prefer this with option because with is always uh, much quicker than the normal thing so I mean uh, when you go for a large project when you design a large application in Excel you might go for um, using with option because with will run very fast I mean you can optimize the code very easily so what I have done is with IE which is the object name and then uh, on the very next line uh, which is the same uh, query dot navigate equal to google.com and then uh, so what it does is actually um, we are uh, actually asking VB to connect to IE and open uh, open a page as google.com which is fair enough and then on the very next line you need to import I mean you need to make a kind note of this one this is uh, like you need to make this object visible I mean um, visible option equal to true which means uh, we need to show the object visibly to the users on the screen so that is this property so please uh, use this property and then on the very next line exits that's it guys we have done so now you know like how to connect to IE from VBA so let's go back um, little step previously um, and uh, you can see here uh, I have used a method on error go to error handler right so I have created a label which is error handler on the bottom and uh, you can see here uh, what I have done is uh, on the message box uh, what I'm stating in case if, the, if it is failed to connect uh, I'm asking VB to produce the error which is unexpected error I'm quitting now right so this property application dot enable events equal to true each and everything is an event in a VBA so I mean uh, it doesn't matter it is, a, it is an optional one you can use it or you can just ignore this and please remember that at the very end of the line you need to set the object equal to nothing which means you are releasing the memory from the task I mean, uh, now we can go back and see the benefits of uh, this tip actually so the first thing is like 
work uh, you can automate your day to day work uh, by using this VBA automation and then eventually it will uh, save your time and uh, you can increase your productivity by using this kind of tip uh, actually we can do more uh, using the E object the thing is uh, there are various options like send keys and then uh, the document properties and then uh, the forum properties uh, so you can use all these properties uh, in the E object then you can automate the various things uh, on your day to day work uh, so I will make a tutorial uh, in my next video uh, thank you for watching this video actually and please subscribe to my youtube channel for more tips and tricks